Uh, hi, hello. Uh, last time we used the eCapture uh, to capture container uh, TLS uh, clear text traffic. And uh, so this is the uh, eCapture project. And uh, so this time, uh, let's try to run the eCapture uh, in container itself, and then use the eCapture in container to capture TLS clear text uh, from another container. Uh, for example, here, let me do a quick, uh, uh, quick demo here. Uh, so, so I have a man shoot uh, uh, part here. So the let shoot part, uh, I give it um, a security context with privilege. So this means the the let shoot part can access the uh, host uh, resources uh, like uh, files file system access. It's pretty much like uh, you are running a root uh, in the Kubernetes node. So here I'm uh, mounting the the node uh, slash uh, root directory to slash uh, mnt in the let should part. So why I'm running let should part? Uh, because I in order to run eCapture in container, I patched the, I forked the let shoot uh, project and then I uh, patched the let shoot to uh, include the eCapture banner. So here I just basically uh, downloaded the eCapture. Uh, in the uh, let shoot uh, build binary slash fetch binaries.sh file, and then get the eCapture link and then download the eCapture, and then uh, attach to the let shoot to, to include the eCapture. Okay, so this is how I run eCapture in let shoot part. Okay, so, and uh, so this is how I deployed the latch to part. So you can see here now the latch to part uh, is running in my Kubernetes node. And now I want to capture uh, I want to capture the TLS traffic from this part. Uh, it's it's a, a F5 container ingress part that uh, is talking to F5 BIP every few minutes, every maybe every ten second through uh, SSO traffic. Okay, so I want to capture this uh, this containers uh, TLS traffic. This part TLS traffic. And uh, I can find the so I can find the uh, the CIS part through Docker. So this is uh, this is um, CIS CIS part. Uh, Docker containers uh, uh, file located. And then uh, as previous video showed, uh, I can find out the, the, the libssl library, which is here. 
So right now, if I run this command to exec, exec into the, the let shoot part and then run the e-capture binary uh, and it also specify the uh, CIS part or containers leave access of directory. As I remember, I mounted the, the node uh, slash uh, root directory to the net shooter part slash MNT. So I give a M slash MNT, then the rest is the uh, node uh, directory pass to the CIS part uh, lib SSO. So if I run this, and also I give it a, a no search uh, equal to, which means uh, I run the eCapture uh, with a specific uh, lib SSO directory. And so I should be able to capture the uh, clear text traffic from the CIS part to big IP. And uh, let's wait a little bit. We should see a clear text from the CIS part. And uh, see here now we've got a clear text. Right, we get a get a request token and uh, 200 okay response by uh, the content. Okay, so, so this is a, a way to show you that we can uh, run eCapture in NetShoot part to capture uh, basically any TLS traffic you are interested in the Kubernetes node. Uh, of course, again, you, you needed to have a, a root privilege for the net shooter part uh, for uh, like troubleshooting uh, TLS uh, related issue. Okay. So also, so this is a PR I contributed to the eCapture because uh, when you run eCapture in a container to capture another container's TLS traffic, uh, there is an issue. So uh, we found a bug for the eCapture. So I contributed uh, uh, this uh, no search argument to uh, work around the bug. I basically, just specify the specific uh, lib SSO library pass without uh, automatically search the pass. So, yeah, and uh, thank you.